What's this thing. like for you now that you've figured oh, out what happened? It is so, I can't even tell you, I couldn't even breathe. You know, just sick, couldn't, couldn't sleep. My big concern was that the whole van was gonna end up in uh, um, dogfighter hands or, you know, I mean, there were some pretty big breeds in there. And, uh, you know, I'm just so relieved that they're safe and they weren't just left to bake in the van either because it's over 100 degrees down there. And uh, I'm just so happy they're, they're safe. And your mind must have been racing. Oh, totally. I mean, just, I couldn't even, like I said, I couldn't breathe. I couldn't, I was just, ugh, it was terrible. So, yeah. um, so these are all like, they're pets, but they're, they're valuable pets. Va Very valuable show dogs. Um, most show dogs are pets first. Um, and uh, show dogs second. Um, these dogs, they sleep in their beds. They, you know, it's, it's uh, just like any other pet, except that they're also very highly trained and uh, they conform uh, closely to their breed standards. They're all going for points to be number one or to go to Westminster or some of the other big shows. Um, as for like the guy who left the, the van running, like in the parking lot, any hard feelings or like any reassessment or like what his niece should be doing about this? I am assuming that he's learned a pretty hard lesson. Um, you know, in, in my opinion, he should have left one person in the van with the dogs when they went in to get the food. Um, but, you know, right now the big thing is the dogs are safe. And uh, I don't know what the condition of the van is. I don't know if they have anything else in there, you know? So, um, but more importantly, all the humans are safe, all the dogs are safe, and uh, we can just go from there.